Morning everybody, it's Monday again. Another one rolled around. It's uh, minus 14 Celsius outside. I'm just gonna, minus 14 Celsius to Fahrenheit. We're looking at seven degrees Fahrenheit outside right now. It is Monday, March 14th, 2022. And uh, we got a load waiting for us. It's taking us to a south so central Manitoba near Portage La Prairie. No time to waste. We gotta grab fuel on the way as well. The Western Star is still carrying us this week. Maybe my truck will be out of the shop this week. We're not too sure. It takes a little while to order parts nowadays. Everything takes a while nowadays. Everything's backed up and uh, you know, parts are hard to come by sometimes. But the truck is in for a safety. And as soon as that's all complete, this truck will be, uh, I'll be switching to that truck again. And we're gonna be looking to put a highway driver in this truck. It might be you, if you wanna drive our trucks, you're a Canadian citizen or permanent resident, don't forget, email me at the email address in the description, truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com. This truck is looking for a driver, could be you. So this morning we're grabbing a trailer, a roll tight, a green one, just like this one here. Uh, this isn't the one though, ours is right over there, I'm pretty sure. Oh wait, no, it might be right here. Is this the one? Oh yeah, that's the one right there. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty warm this week. I'm actually kind of excited. Above zero temperatures all week. Even through the night some nights. So all of this snow around here is gonna start melting this week and it's gonna start getting very, very messy. So I hope you all have your washer fluid handy. You're going to need it. All right, double check that we're locked in here. Everything looks good. Roll these bad boys up. Which one's which here? That's one. Come on. Okay. Hook these up. Put the lights up. Okay. Inside. I believe these trailers have lights in here. Nope. Oh. I thought these ones had lights in here. Hey, this one doesn't then. You'll just have to trust me. There's a there's a load of freight right here. We are out of here before anybody's even in. <laughs> Early start today. They want this freight out there first thing this morning, and then I've got to be up in Toulon before noon, which is north of the city. Shouldn't have any problem. I should still be early for that, but. Just in case we're getting an early start. So like I said earlier, I'm filming this on March 14th. Yesterday, we had daylight savings time, so we sprung ahead an hour. So it's still dark when I'm getting going now. And this light is still purple at this intersection, if you're wondering. And I've been noticing more and more of them turning purple. Gotta make a left turn up here. I think the customer is right about over here somewhere. It's right near a little town, west of Portage La Prairie. Uh, all right, this should be it. What is this, 65 North? This is 65 North. We're facing south, so east should be this way. Okay, well, there's not gonna be many places to turn around down this road, so I hope they gave me accurate directions. Forget how far they said it was down here. Shouldn't be too far, and there's not much else here, so. Better not be leading me into a giant pickle. Huh. 
I don't see anything. In Manitoba here, these are grid roads, like farm roads. So I mean, if I am going the wrong way, I can just take the next mile road. There's a road every mile in every direction. It's like big squares, square miles. When this area was settled, uh, Canada still used miles, not kilometers. Kilometers only came into effect, uh, we only started following the metric system in like the 60s or 70s, 70s maybe. So we used to be just like the United States. I don't see anything. Oh, there's something there. What in the world? What number is this? No, that's definitely not where I'm going. Huh. Interesting. Oh, how about this one? This one's probably it here. They got a big shop. I bet you anything this is it. It's got a big driveway, big shop. I'm putting my signal on. That's how confident I am that this is where we're going. Big driveway for trucks. This is it, yep. This is definitely it. All right. All right, now it's nice and slow. Man, I'd love to have a shop like that on our land one day. That's bigger than the one I have right now. That's what I'd love to have, wow. Nice fifth wheel here too. Beautiful. All right, I don't know where we're gonna unload. Uh, do they got more yard over here? Okay, yeah, they got some yard over here. Beautiful home, beautiful shop. This is the dream property right here. Wow. what our property is going to look like one day with less machinery because I don't own a construction business obviously and uh, more trees our land is uh, got more trees but that would probably be about something like this okay do I want to turn around I want to turn around so that I can where where do I want to turn around where do they want to unload me there's some more space back there I see I'm gonna park here for now it's gonna straighten out a little bit And then uh, we'll figure it out from here. Okay. I'm gonna go inside and find someone to talk to. Actually, you know what, I have their phone number, I'll just call. They might be in the house, I'm not just gonna go and ring the doorbell. They might have kids that are sleeping or something. The guy actually came out here and uh, said hi to me. I didn't have to call her and they saw me pull in so we're gonna unload at the back here he says we're facing south here now right because there's the Sun it's rising in the east it still does that every day and uh, we want to face that way but uh, back up over here he's gonna unload me in this little section here on the south side so it'll be off my driver's side Right in this area here is where we're, I gotta line up to. There's a lot of stuff back here. Wow, a lot of space. A bunch of trailers. That's awesome. Something up in here. Okay, I think this will be good here. Okay, suited up, ready for duty. Ugh. 
All right. All right. All right. This is going to be good. This is going to be fun. Now that we have some light in the trailer, I can actually show you what we got in there. Sounds like. Grab all my stuff. Uh, I always have so much stuff. Always have so much stuff. Come with me. Oh, that's a beautiful picture right there. Oh boy, that might be a thumbnail. One second. That might be a thumbnail right there. All right. Show you what we got in here now. See that? So they're all belly wrapped, held together in there. They're very heavy. That right there is uh, about 40, a little over 40,000 pounds, I think. Let's get this thing opened up. So it's taken one off already. And we have these chalks on either side, right? So that they don't just roll off on their own. So he's got these pincher forks on his tractor there. They sort of grab the pole and sort of pinch it and then he can pull it off the trailer like that. Let's see, he's still got one, two, three, four, five to go. So he's half done. He's going pretty quick. We're all finished up now. Just gonna close her up. We're ready to go. I'm gonna do it from up there though. So I can't get much traction down here. Or as much. Up here they got these uh you know the grooves on the trailer. The trailer is made for traction. Oh we got some junk up here. And this left over. Okay. Well we'll put this at the front of the trailer. And then we'll throw it out once we get to a garbage can. I'm gonna be careful with those because they have nails in them. You don't want to put them just anywhere. All right, trailer, come with me. You're gonna cooperate, right? Right, we're gonna be friends. Huh. Let's see. It's easier if I push. There we go. Lock her up and hit the road. Buckle myself in so I don't fall out. All right. Thank you, random voice. Oh, there you are. There you are. All right. I'm gonna go both the same way we came in. Give her. So we're going to Toulon now. About an hour and 45 minutes from here. Much lighter now. That was a really heavy load. Doesn't look that heavy when you first look at it though, right? But yeah, it was heavy. It's sitting over there somewhere. Ready for whatever life needs it for. Hard to tell where the driveway is here, right? Eh? Because everything's so white. It all blends into each other. You sort of just gotta guess and hope for the best. Look at where other people have been driving. Here they got these hills, so you sort of assume it's on this side of those hills. I can't wait till we can build our house. 
Ah, uh, hopefully sooner than later. It'll be a little while yet though. I'm, I'm thinking probably five years. We shall see. Maybe more. I wanna make sure we do it right. And then we only wanna move one more time. So we wanna be absolutely sure that when we build and where we build is exactly what and where we want. Exactly. I don't wanna ever move again. It's the whole point of building a brand new house so that hopefully you don't have to worry about too many big problems in your lifetime yet, right? Other than the regular maintenance, like hopefully. I know there's sometimes problems with new houses too, but hopefully less than the old houses we've had. I don't know where the edge of the road is here, so I don't wanna go too far this way. There's a guy over here. suddenly slip into the ditch have to make that phone call hey dr. hook I need a tug I need you to pull me out I'm stuck what a nice piece of land out here though eh? I mean it's very open because it's on Yonzi it's on the other side of the river we're on the west side of the Red River right now so this is like uh, very wide open it's been cleared for farmland for the most part aside from right here but around out there and stuff where we're building our house, it's on the other side, on our side of the river, east side. And uh, there's no cleared areas, not as much cleared areas for farming. Our land is all treed, everything. I really like that. I like the privacy and the nature that the bush brings, you know? When you have, uh, you know, here in Manitoba, we call this the bush. Or some people might call it the woods or the forest. We call it the bush. And in the bush, you get all the wildlife. You know, you get all the birds and squirrels and deer and bears and wolves and all the, all the fun stuff, you know, that you don't get to see out in the open as much or in the city. You gotta sort of be a little bit closer to nature. And there's a little bit more of nature on the east side of the river because it's, uh, uh, mostly provincial parks on the east side, so it's mostly untouched whereas on the west side of the river All the way to the Rocky Mountains on the other side of Alberta like 1500 kilometers away or a thousand miles away It's just a thousand miles of farmland that way If not more probably more than a thousand miles probably 1500 miles. Oh, I'm spinning All that traction control it doesn't help anything all it does is it makes you get stuck more there you go, come on. There you go, come on. It's okay if you spin a little bit, come on. Come on, girl. I don't like traction control. I'm a traction control. I will judge when I need to let off the throttle, you know? That's, that's my job, I'm the driver. Why are you driving for me? I don't like trucks that drive for me. I, I'm, I'm supposed to be in control. <laughs> uh oh, do we got a dog or something on the highway here? Up here on the left. I thought I saw something moving there. Yeah, there's something moving. Right? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? No, there's something there. There's a dog there. I'm gonna honk at it. Go home, buddy. You're gonna get hurt here. Shouldn't be playing on the road, buddy. It makes me sad and scared. I'm, I, I hate to see dogs get hurt on the highway. I got a significantly large heart for dogs. Look at this house, eh? Been totally redone. Old style house. Beautiful. See? Small town. But for the most part, they're taking care of it. Some places need a little bit of updating, but they'll get there. They'll get there. Not everybody has the cash on hand to do it right, right now, but you know. Some small towns that you roll through, you can tell that it's sort of just, you know, going downhill because no one's renovating or updating anything. That's not the case here. It's good to see. We need to keep our small towns thriving. The big cities are just gobbling everything up. 
and I'm a I'm a small town boy. I'm a country boy. I, I like the outside the city. I don't like I don't like the city. <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want you to take that the wrong way because I realize a lot of you live in a city, but I just don't like cities. I I don't know. Too many people all in one place, all breathing the same air. I need my own space. Excuse me, coming in. Coming in there, bud. Excuse me. Looks like he hit a deer. Driver's side of his car was all banged up. All right, so we go all the way back to Winnipeg this way, and then about a half hour north. The roads weren't this bad the whole way. It's just this little stretch of road. <laughs> oh, it's a bright yellow. I've never noticed that. Wow, bright yellow house. I come past here all the time. We're just in Toulon, we gotta pick up some freight. We are barely on time. I think we're about three minutes early. So we're still on time. We're still on time. Hey, they got the yard all full today. Okay. We're gonna find a way of turning ourselves around in here. And then put those things right there, those gray long things. There's two there and two over there. I believe those are mine. I'm gonna throw those onto the trailer, tie them down, and bring them back with me. Oh, I still got lots of room here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. I wonder if he wants to load me out here then. I'll just line up right in here. Yeah, I'll just back right in the middle there. That's usually where I park, so. Get myself lined up and uh, show you what we're working with after that. See if I can get into that corner without getting stuck in the back here. Oh, oh, don't get stuck. Okay, we're good. A little bit of a blind side back. It's nice to have that little window back there. Yeah, there's my trailer. I can see my trailer through there. You see that? Useful. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to. Oh no, we got it. We got it right in the middle. Perfect. That worked out well. Wonderful up there we go let's go reload then we can go home actually opened up a lot easier than I thought it would. That was 25 minutes from the time I stopped to the time I'm rolling out. I wonder if I can get past this guy. He parked right in the driveway to unload. Just gonna have to wait a minute or two. Uh, here we go. I'll just sneak past here. Oh no, guard wine. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he's not gonna wait. Okay. He can't get in here anyways until I get out. <laughs> We're all in his way. Whoa, don't let the steers slip into the ditch there. That wouldn't be good. Then I'm really blocking everything. That was fun. All right, so we got an hour back to the yard. We'll see if they got any afternoon stuff for us. It is Monday, so, uh, well, you never know. I, I would usually say, yeah, it's Monday, so chances are slim. But if I say that out loud, 
then when I get back, there will be tons to do and I'll be proven wrong. So I'm just gonna say, eh, we'll see what happens when we get back. It's almost 7 p.m. And the, the sky is still bright. That daylight savings time, that messes with me. I don't know why we do daylight savings time. I don't see the point of it. Why? Why do we need to mess around with everybody? You know, Saskatchewan's got it right. They don't ever change their clocks. They said, no, nah, we're not going to play with that. No, nah, we're not playing that game. Nope. Good on them. I really wish Manitoba would go the same way. You know what? Just pick a time and stick with it. I don't like the... I don't... So what? It's not as bright or in the morning or it's not as bright in the evening sometime, sometimes during the year. Like, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't like... I don't see the point of daylight savings time. I think it's useless. I could do without it. Gotta run into town here. Grab a couple of things from the pharmacy on my way home. Shower. By that time, it'll pretty much be time for bed. We'll do it all over again tomorrow. I don't have a plan for tomorrow yet. I like to have a plan the day before, but yeah. often there is no plan until I get there in the morning. So I'll show up there first thing bright and early. Make sure I'm ready for everyone when they get there, and then whatever they need me to do. Oh, well, that's where the Jamaican store is. Jamaican grill. Jamaican me hungry. We have a Jamaican restaurant in town now. I wanna go take Britt there and try it out sometime. I don't know what Jamaican food is, but I'm gonna find out. It's gonna be great. Ow, it's just my foot. Hey, Frank. How's it going, buddy? Shake a, shake a muzzle. Shake, 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 shake my hand. Shake, shake my. <laughs> shake my hand. Yeah, <laughs> be.